Hello everybody. Welcome back. It's Anna. Okay, it has been a while since I've done a video, but I've been meaning to refilm this bullet journal um, kind of walk through for a while and I haven't really had time so I'm really happy to be able to do this right now. I've been using my bullet journal. See, I'm just going to jump right in. <laughs> um, I've been using this bullet journal since the beginning of the year and this is how far I've gone in my Loish Term 1917 dot grid and I think it's royal blue. I'm really really enjoying it um, and so far it's been working and I just thought I would share just kind of how things have changed within the bullet journal and then just all the supplies that I'm using uh, with it. So I'm just going to slip the supplies off to the side and just kind of walk you through everything and just kind of show you what has changed. Um, it's the end of March and I really haven't done anything with the index. Honestly, most times I'm not really flipping back to previous weeks or anything. If anything, I'm just looking at like an overall calendar. Um, maybe like a note that I've scribbled on um, a previous page but other than that I've done nothing with the index and I left myself a few extra pages for that purpose just in case I was going to use the index and then uh, I ended up just kind of adding a photo a magazine photo here of just you know images that I like um, I've done nothing with uh, the actual calendar for 2018-2019. Honestly, I don't really look at this often, mostly because I work uh, with digital calendars all day at work, and so most of the time I'm just looking at the calendar there if I need to refer to something, or if I'm just looking at my phone, I can just look at the calendar there. Um, so in general, I've not really referred back to this. I have filled out things for the overall like what's going on each month and I've crossed things out so I keep track of like friends birthdays, um, events that are going on, things that are going to be on TV that I want to keep track of. Um, so this I have kind of been looking through and adding to and it is all color coordinated which I'll get into later. Um, I've got my 2018 goals, my 2018 projects. And here and there, I'll add something to the 2018 projects, but in the past few months, I have not. This has all been there since I started the bullet journal. And then I have gone through and looked at my 2018 wish list, which I have also added a few things here and there. But as you can see, I've kind of started crossing off a few things, and I'm really happy about that. And then on this page, I kind of created a little list of like non-stationary items. This is mostly stationary, this is books, and then this is like fashion items or like perfume or something like that. So, um, and then I made notes of like stamps that I wanna get at the Mama Elephant site, um, things I wanna pick up at Daiso and Kino Kunia. Um, Books. This is just an ongoing list of books that I've finished. I actually have to update this because I haven't done that in a while. Um, and then I left this page blank for adding an image, which I actually not have not gotten um, to do. And then December, I kind of filled in. Actually, did I do all of December? Yeah, I did actually. So in fact, I've done it for like four months almost. Um, this was when I was really trying out the vertical kind of calendar setup instead of having boxes for my monthly view and I really found that I enjoyed this kind of setup because I just don't have too much going on where I need to have boxes and it doesn't allow me to write out things. There's just not enough room for me and I found that this allowed me enough room for the notes that I wanted. And then you'll see the change here too. This is my first time doing a habit tracker um, where I just put the date but not the day of the week. And I wasn't too structured with it. I just left all of this blank, which I found was kind of hard and annoying to fill in when I wanted to fill in the box for the day. 
So that eventually changes, but this was my first time doing it. And overall, I really liked the habit tracker. Um, here I kind of boxed in the categories, which changes later as well. And this I eventually center. So this is, you can see kind of off to the side. Here, because this is my first time really doing a bullet journal, I was really experimenting with what I wanted to do with the format, like what I wanted to do with tracking hydration, weather, just doodling, um, how I wanted to format my to-dos and things like that. But I kept the overall like calendar format simple, the date, day of the week, and then just using my Tombow markers to kind of draw a line to separate that. And I was going to do a moon phase there, obviously I didn't. Because I was preparing for Christmas, I left a huge page out for um, Christmas to-dos, which ended up being uh, very small because we were traveling. So not much to report here. Tried doing some sort of like mood tracker thing, just with the stencil that I had, and that didn't really work out. And then still with the boxed in categories, I did add health as a category to track for a little bit. Um, and then because we were traveling, uh, for the next like week or so, we ended up not doing too much at home that required me to have like full boxes, like a full two page spread for the week. So I actually just made that one week, a one week spread with a packing list to Port Townsend. And then same here for the week that we were traveling back to Milwaukee for um, for the holidays. And then I kind of left these two pages as like my Wisconsin checklist, the things that I wanted to do while we were there, the review. So all the things that I got to do that I, um, I don't know, wanted to keep track of. Um, some of my favorite memories of visiting and then here in January, I still kept with the vertical kind of overall monthly view. And then this is where my tracker really changes. As you can see, I boxed in everything. I do this once a month and I pre-plan it. So it really doesn't take me that long to do once I start doing it. And I've gotten into the uh, routine of like, I just do this when I go to my meetups because it takes like 10 minutes to really draw out with a ruler. And I find that I am so much more apt to fill out my tracker when everything is drawn in. I could just fill it in with a pen. And, and then I also added the uh, days of the week too, so it's easier for me to tell uh, what I've done what day. And that really worked out. So I'm really enjoying the tracker with all the boxes drawn in. Still kind of keeping track of the hydration, which kind of fills us out later. Um, here I was kind of tracking food, like what I was eating. I started centering the tracker boxes for my weekly. And... I always leave a blank page on this opposite side of like my to-dos. Um, and I, that usually is a free-for-all. So at, sometimes it's packing if we're going away for the weekend. Sometimes it's like meal planning general to-dos, um, notes that I want to make for projects or something like that. So the left side page is always something that I leave kind of up in the air. Um, so here I started um, just writing down the weather instead of drawing it out. I'm not much of a doodler. So um, if you see a lot of these post-it notes, I'm just covering up um, some information because I do use this to kind of track health as well so I find that having this like large span of space to keep track of that really allows me to record a lot of that stuff I started playing with stickers and just kind of adding things here and there um, so this page I don't really have anything to fill in, but I didn't want to waste the page, so I started tracking like January favorites. Um, I'm using my planner stickers that I got um, 
for my uh, recollections planner and I started just kind of here and there adding those and just kind of making it a little bit more fun and colorful. Um, I tried tracking workouts um, and here and there I still do that with the stickers. So I use like the happy, um, what is it, the Mambi stickers from Michaels. And once again, going into February, I did the grid for all of my tracking. I did recategorize and reorganize all of these so they made more sense um, paired together, like, you know, pre workout snack with workout and all my pampering. So I want to do face mask, a bath, a manicure, my social media at the bottom, health, and things like that. So I did kind of reorganize the order that I wrote those in. And. Tracking workouts with stickers, changing up the tombow markers, but that's kind of it. Um, but I'm really starting to get into the routine and the format and just really getting used to using this kind of planner rather than something that's preset. And I actually enjoy pre-planning, going in and drawing out for the next couple weeks or so and mapping it and it's just kind of become part of my routine. I do it for like 15, 20 minutes while I'm watching TV and then I set it aside and then it's done and I don't have to worry about it. So I'm really enjoying the kind of ritual of setting it up for the next couple weeks or so. Um, if I know it's going to be a busy month, I will do the whole month ahead of time. Um, but usually it's about a couple weeks, a couple weeks at a time. So here I'm using like these like washi stickers that you can get at Michaels, just kind of playing around and I'm tracking weather with the stickers instead of drawing it out now. Um, so just kind of having fun with it. Um, created a spring cleaning list here. And then here I'm not boxing in the categories anymore. And then I can, kind of changed it up too. So I've got home, personal notes, and then gratitude. So it's a little less structured, a little less for me to have to like measure out and draw and it works out perfectly fine. So yeah, playing with washi. And then I also created um, a bigger tracker here too. So I did add a couple more categories. Um, and now that I'm getting back into writing, I've created a writing tracker. So I like to keep track of like how much I'm doing it how often I'm doing it. Um, and that's been really motivating to see all of the boxes filled out too. So I really like that as like a way for me to stay focused. So meal prep. Um, I think going forward, the left side page is usually going to be meal prep because I'm just, I'm terrible at it. And I really need to kind of get on, on that. Um, and then changed up the colors here just because um, honestly sometimes I just don't feel like bringing this entire case with me and so I'll simplify and just carry whatever colors that I like using um, in my like everyday carry pen roll and so that's why it's not as colorful as before or the prior months but And we're slowly getting into the end of March here. But I am so enjoying the bullet journal. I having the dot grid system and I don't know, maybe there's just something about it. Maybe something switched in my mind where I just needed the change and this change had to happen now for it to work. But whatever it is, I'm really, really enjoying it. I really like it. Um, in the back, it does come with a pocket. I carry some stickers with me. And then it, I also carry like additional stickers back here. Um, just important information and whatnot. Receipts, coupons, sorry, are you even in the frame? There you are. So that's what I usually carry. Sometimes I take it to work if I've got some things to catch up on. Otherwise, this kind of stays at home. Other things that I'm using are just an overall large um, lined post-it um, pad that I can use. This is what I use for like making up grocery lists while I'm meal planning. 
So that's really handy. And then I got these on clearance at Barnes & Noble, the Geometric, Geometric Pastel Sticky Notes by Gallison. They kind of looked very present and correct-ish, and that's the reason why I got them. So that's what they look like in like natural light. Not the best quality, but when I'm scribbling down notes or if I need to cover something up, these notes come in handy. And it lies flat. I love that it's just kind of slim and just keeps everything like that. And then this is a case um, by Arrangement. I got it on Amazon. It was like 10 bucks or something like that. And I just needed something that was slim but could also carry my Tombow pens because this is a rather tall case and it fits them perfectly. There's a pocket here, um, a slip pocket here, which I keep some additional post-it notes that I know I need to use up. It's kind of like this harder plasticky canvas material. Originally I wanted something canvas so I can stick pins on it, like my pins that I collect and change it out, but it is kind of like a harder material. So you might like actually put a hole in it, it'll be permanent if you do that. Um, but like I said, I got this case because I knew it was gonna fit my Tombows. These are all the colors that I like using. Um, so I keep them here and I use that for formatting my general layouts. I keep a pencil in here uh, for writing things that are not permanent plans, but um, you know, just pre-planning. Uh, the general micron that I use for note taking and writing to do's is the 0.35. And then the 0.45 is what I use for formatting all the boxes and the tracker grid and all of that. Um, silver I use for tracking like health things. And that's in the first slot here. This flap actually flips over, which is really nice. And I selected a certain amount of colors from the Stabilo like 30 pack or something that I got from Amazon. These are the colors that I use the most. Uh, peach is for Instagram. This uh, pink is like for self-pampering. Um, blue are for plans for my husband and I. Gray is for like health and vitamin intake. Um, orange is for like family things. Red is for health as well. Green is for personal spending. I use the dark gray for like packing lists and general to-dos. And then these two colors are just for additional boxes to fill out when I'm using the habit tracker. Um, but I really like these. I like that it's... Um, it, you can get them in so many different packs of colors and um, it gives you a nice wide range and they're really nice quality too. I like the stipula markers. Um, I just use these little slots here for like little flags which I don't really use often. I do like to keep um, correction tape with me. The ears fell off of this little panda but I got this at Daiso for correcting things obviously. Um, these are two lapens. I use the purple for all like personal notes. Um, so I just keep those two colors in there. I'm trying to use them up. This is the 0.25 micron, which I don't use often. Um, and then this is a flat cork side ruler for um, drawing my grid. So this is basically my entire bullet journal kit. Um, and like I said, I slim this down for when I don't want to carry all of the pens and then when I do I will grab these colors right here and throw them into my uh, whatever pen case that I'm using. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Um, just wanted to share with you how it's working out for me, how I've formatted things and what's working, what didn't. And if you have any questions let me know. I'm currently not really uh, I don't have time to really answer through YouTube. I'm trying to get to comments. Um, but if you do have questions, um, let me know on Instagram because that's where I do all my social media and I'm always on Instagram. Okay, guys, I hope you are doing well. I hope you are enjoying your current planner formats. Um, if you found planner piece, that is awesome. Um, and I hope you're doing well in your journaling. I know I haven't talked to you guys in a while and um, I miss talking to you guys about journaling. So I will get to some videos soon because I've got some 
changes going on and I just have a lot to share. Anyway, take care and I will see you in my next video. Bye.